Welcome back to Chinese Zero to Hero, where we offer complete video courses that take fresh beginners all the way to fluency, from HSK1 all the way to HSK6. From our HSK3 video course, we selected this lesson and made it available on YouTube for a limited time only. Enjoy. In Grammar 3.2.2, we already looked at complements of direction. Words like 回来, 回去, 出来, 出去, are composed of a motion verb, 回 or 出, and then the verb 来 or 去. 回来, 回去, 出来, 出去. 来 or 去, as the arrows point to here, are called the complements of direction because they modify the verb that precedes them. Now we're going to call them simple complements of direction because 回来, 回去, 出来, 出去, and verbs like these can be combined to form compound complements of direction. And this is the new thing that we're going to look at today. For example, 走回来. 走 means what? Yes, to walk. 回来 means to come back. So 走回来 together means to walk back. 拿, 拿 means to take. What does 拿回去 mean? Yes, to take back. 跑出来, come outside running. 走出去, walk out. So you see, let's take a closer look at 走回来. The compound complement of direction is 回来, which itself is composed of a motion verb and 来 or 去. And then it's preceded by a verb, 走, 走回来, walk back. Using a sentence, 我是走回来的, 我是走回来的, 为什么? 因为没有公共汽车了, 我是走回来的. Another example, 拿回去, 回去 is a compound complement of direction. Itself is made of a motion verb 回 and 去. 拿 means to take is the verb that precedes them. 拿回去, take back. 没吃完的,你拿回去吧. 没吃完的,你拿回去吧. 我们看看一个例子. Let's take a look at an example. 吃好了吗? 吃好了。没吃完的,你带回去吧。Another word is 跑出来。出来 is a compound complement of direction. 出 is the motion verb, and 来, preceded by the verb 跑。Together form 跑出来, come running outside. 小狗从房间跑出来, the dog came running outside. Chu. the compound complement of direction is 出去, motion verb is 出, plus 去, preceded by the verb 走, 走出去, walk out, 走出去. 下课了, 同学们从教室走出去。The class is over, so the students walk out the classroom. More examples. 坐久了,还可以站起来休息一会儿。Here, the compound complement of direction is 起来, meaning get up. But how do you get up? Are you standing up? Are you sitting up? Are you jumping up? What, how, how are you getting up? Well, it's standing up in this case. 站起来, right? So with these combinations, you can express very specific motion. 坐久了还可以站起来休息一会儿。这是给爷爷的礼物,明天我们一起送过去。送 means to send or deliver. 过去 is to pass over. So we're going to deliver this over there to 爷爷, grandpa. 这是给爷爷的礼物, 明天我们一起 
送过去。So there you have it: verb plus motion verb plus 来过去 to form the compound complement of direction. Now, if you want to specify a location to this motion, the location goes between the motion verb and 来去 For example, 老师走进教室来教室 goes right between 进 and 来弟弟跑下楼去，楼 meaning building goes right in between 下 and 去，下楼去，跑下楼去。Little brother is running downstairs. 周太太走进咖啡店去。Mrs. Zhou is walking into the coffee shop. 走进咖啡店去。下课了，同学们走出教室去。走出去，走出教室去。So there you have it: compound complement of direction plus a location. If you want to include objects in this construction, for example, the teacher is getting out a book. The object can either follow 来去 or precede 来去 Like this, 老师拿出来一本书 or 老师拿出一本书来。哥哥买回来一个西瓜。哥哥买回一个西瓜来。So the object can be where that location was, or at the very end. 请大家拿出来笔记本 or 请大家拿出笔记本来。Let's see a demo. 戴肯，请拿出你的笔记本来。好的。他做什么？他拿出，他拿出笔记本来。爸爸从国外带回来一些礼物。What's the object? What's brought back? Yes, 一些礼物。Now, where else can you place it? Yes, between 回 and 来。回 is the motion verb, and 来 is 来 or 去 right? So, 一些礼物 can go right in between, or after 来。爸爸从国外带回一些礼物来。Another example: 小刚买回来很多东西 or 小刚买回很多东西来。从哪儿买回这么多东西啊？从哪儿买回这么多东西来呀 ？Both okay.、Right. So looking at the formula above, the O can be either in front of 来去 or after 来去 Now there you have it. Compound complement of direction with an object. If there's a l in the sentence indicating completion, the object is usually at the end and not in between motion verb and 来 Like this, 哥哥买回来了一个西瓜 And not 哥哥买回一个西瓜来了 If you have a le in the sentence, it's better to have the object at the very end. 爸爸带回来了一些礼物 And not 爸爸带回一些礼物来了 If you found this lesson useful, you'll love our complete HSK three video course. Which includes 187 videos that will teach you grammar and vocabulary, help you complete pair activities, and test your writing with dictation exercises. This course also comes with quizzes, interactive flashcards, and Chinese character worksheets. Our course uses a textbook called HSK3 Standard Course, which you need to buy from a bookstore. The first unit of each course is available as free preview. Just scroll down to the curriculum section and click. Preview. To browse our collection of courses, click the square button on the screen. Keep in mind that once you buy a course, you have it forever. Say goodbye to monthly subscription fees. Buy once, enjoy forever. Plain and simple. The pricing is very affordable. Join us on the way to Chinese mastery, and I'll see you in the course.